Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am here at the uh, Toronto Pearson Airport and I am getting ready for a 15 hour and 45 minute flight to Hong Kong. Um, hopefully Rung's gonna come and meet me there and uh, we're gonna spend some time in Hong Kong and then fly to Chiang Rai. So yeah, come on along for the journey and uh, we'll see you in Hong Kong. Down here at the uh, waterfront, Hong Kong. We're on the Cao uh, Cao Land side, and behind me is uh, beautiful Hong Kong Island. So yeah, let's check it out. We put on a show every night, and uh, we come up here onto this platform, viewing platform. It was absolutely packed, like everything else in Hong Kong. You cannot freaking move for people. Hello! Nice Look at you two beautiful yeah. Thai ladies. Yeah. So funny running into you in Hong Kong. I didn't, I did not know that you were here. What the heck? How did that happen? I know. Maybe we should go out on a date. What do you think? Um, first day, but yeah, go out on a date. But we are two women, two girls. Yeah. Well, okay, we'll have to work about on a plan then. <laughs> Make a plan. Too much work for plan. Way too much work. <laughs> Look at that, beautiful. Yeah.
So Rung's friend, this lady that's showing us around, Namo is her name, said that this hotel is about 400 Canadian dollars per night. That's for this lower one, I don't think that's part of it, but I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so it's not all, it's not all 40 bucks a night over here. I saw you taking that picture. So there's the big tree that you can get your wedding photo taken in. Perfect. Hey guys, so I uh, made it to Hong Kong and uh, Rung and I met at the airport. I didn't really get it on video uh, because we were both kind of lost and looking for each other in there and uh, there was a huge immigration line to go through. But uh, anyway, so I booked this room in uh, Kowloon, uh, the old part of, uh, of Hong Kong down here on, uh, and got this little room from Vacation Rentals by owner, the VRBO. And uh, yeah, um, well, I've rented a lot of rooms from Airbnb, and I've also, uh, but I've never quite got one like this. But uh, it is what it is, I suppose. Pretty small. Wait till you see the bathroom. So yeah, let's check this out. Okay, so I've got my back to the door. There's actually two double beds in here. TV. It's not bad, I guess. There's a little, little uh, sofa. Looks like it pulls out too. I mean, it's got everything that you need, but wait till you see this out here. This here's your kitchen. I won't even step in there because you won't be able to see once I come into the kitchen. <laughs> here's the kitchen. I can touch the wall and I can not have to move and I can touch the wall over here on that side. <laughs> so, uh, yes, space is a premium here in Hong Kong from what I understand. And look at this washroom. It's half the size of the kitchen. Seriously, guys, like I will, I have to squeeze. Look at, I have to, you have to turn sideways to get, I can't get in. I gotta go, look, I gotta go sideways to get through. <laughs> and then when I'm in here, that's all there is. It's like, there's the wall. Oh, there's the wall. And not only do you do your business, you also have a shower right in here too. So this entire thing is the size of a shower stall. Anyways, I can get clean in here and take a take a number two. That's <laughs> all I need. Anyways, Rung said she's happy with it. I said, well, we can go get another hotel room if you want. But this is a really old part of Hong Kong. And uh, there's some much nastier looking places around. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess that's part of the problem when you're booking online. Um, and this was a hundred bucks a night too, but we are right on the action. That's called Temple Road. Uh, major, major uh, setup there of markets and stalls and food everywhere. So we are right in the heart of it. So, uh, ah, I think we can make do with what we have. But anyways, so that's our room in the Kowloon.